figure out. The chromatic scale is a scale that uses all the notes available to us. Chromatic meaning all the colors or all the sounds. Here I wrote out small sections of the chromatic scale so you can understand their naming conventions. If we were to go up the chromatic scale, we'd go E, the very next note F, the very next possible note F sharp, the next note G would be, and we keep going up calling them sharps. If we're going down a chromatic scale, here's an E, I go down to E flat, and then a D, and then I would go to a D flat, so that's the naming. And the way it's played on the guitar is there's three ways that I think of. The most fundamental is playing it in open position, where you're going to be playing each finger on a fret of the guitar and using the open strings. So I'm going to go zero, one, two, three, four on every string. Until I get to right here in the B string. And the G string, you have a choice because of the tuning change here. It's a major third between the strings instead of a perfect fourth. You can either play your pinky on the fourth fret of the G and skip the open, which is not what I recommend. I actually recommend using the open B when you're playing this particular scale. It's more consistent with the texture of the rest of the scale. And then we're going to go back to our previous pattern. First four frets. So here I'll play that whole chromatic scale going up and down in what's called open position. Now another way that you'll want to learn if you want to advance your technique is a movable version of it. And the way that you can do that having to have any difficulty with open strings is start on the fifth fret of the low E and then do that same idea that we just did. Each finger plays a fret, but instead of using an open string, we have to go back a fret. So five, six, seven, eight, four, five, six, seven. And then we go to three, four, five, six, and then two, three, four, because of the tuning change, I'm not going to move anywhere. I'm going to go straight from this 2, 3, 4, 5 on the G to 2, 3, 4, 5 on the B. And then back to our previous pattern, 1, 2, 3, 4. So here's that whole chromatic scale in a movable fashion. Chromatic scales are very useful for playing um, Notes that are more interesting when you're improvising. They're also used when uh, modulating. If you're playing a melodic instrument and the piece is modulating, you'll begin to go through chromatic sequences. Um, another really cool way for you shredders out there is, and I got this from Paul Gilbert, so I'll give him the due credit, um, is to do a three note per string version of it. And the way you're gonna do that is start at the 12th fret and then play the 13th and 14th with your middle and ring. Then you go back two frets, do the same pattern, back two frets, back two frets, and then back only one, doing that tuning change, and then back two. So the thing, the reason why Paul chose to do this was because he could do all of his cool picking patterns with three note per string scales inside that. The best way to do it is to do the open first. Get that down. Gold. Cool.